And how are you guys doing? Uh, do you have enough stuff in front of you? I know, that I'm, I just, it was a little intimidating. <laughs> um, but I'm good. So we seem to be uh, getting to have a lot more insight into um, your character's life right. and uh, upcoming um, baby. Yeah, Daddy <laughs> can Digger. A, can, you, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I always, I always joke that he's going to be, he's going to have a Bajoran and a Glock. You know, just a baby and a... Um, yeah, it's going to, you know, I said it yesterday at the panel. It's going to cause some tension because he has um, some things at stake. I don't think that, I don't think that's, that that Diggle is really going to have a problem. I think Oliver is going to really have a problem with the idea that this guy's a father and he's risking his life every day for his crusade, which Diggle does take great offense to. You will see that in the first episode. But, um, yeah, there'll be, there'll be some tension. Sure. Uh, with, with after, after the aftermath of what happened last year, yeah. what's going to happen? How's Oliver going to take you know, everything? Well, Oliver's in a good place, right? He's, um, he got the baddie without killing him and uh, he's officially become you know like a hero that doesn't kill and um, and brings them to justice now you gotta pull the carpet out from under him right and so and that's that's the idea of the season the big bad guy do you guys know who he is okay great because that would be that's gonna be revealed tonight and um, from what I'm hearing and uh, or very soon if it's not tonight it's gonna be tomorrow whatever it is but that's going to test Oliver and the whole team in a way we haven't seen. And in terms of this whole, we're not going to kill and we're going to do it the right way, all that will be challenged this season. Diggle always seems to be like a well, even in the beginning of this first episode, I think the tease last night, they go on a date. I think Oliver's at a place where he wants to um, see if he can balance being a normal person and being the arrow at the same time. And that gets challenged very, very quickly. And uh, a big reflection of that is how he um, really challenges Diggle in terms of wanting him to stay on the team. He sees um, Diggle as almost having too much to risk and now that he's a father and that will provide a big challenge between he and Oliver not that they don't have they're always it's, it's a bit of a contentious relationship anyway along with like a big brother little brother relationship anyway but um, that's one of the challenges the other challenge for I think for Oliver will be just how he feels with Felicity and trying to have a normal life that's not going to happen and um, at least not immediately and um, and again the hero theme can he continue to fight without killing, particularly when you see the team that's being formed against us this season. So um, some of these big lofty themes of, um, of not to kill and being a hero, all that stuff will be challenged. And in terms of the team, you know, Diggle particularly is going to try to keep on track. I think one of the, Diggle's always kind of been the voice of reason, the, the moral voice, I think. And, um, you know, for him, he's now involved with Argus. He's now involved with Suicide Squad. And, um, and he's a father. So we'll see what that all means to the team. Even in, in the beginning of the first episode of the first season, or the second episode, the team imme immediately begins using Argus resources. So it's, um, Argus is going to be a big part of it. Yeah. Is there anything more you can tell us about the Argus role? Well, I don't know. I'm looking at Greg over there. I'm like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I think, well, Lila's now the head of Argus. Um, and we're going to see how long that lasts. Somebody else might end up being the head of Argus. Who knows? How, how Oliver has to balance his two, having to try to have a life and try to be the arrow. But it sounds like with your family, your character's family developing, that that's a, a balance you're going to have to strike as well. So in terms of how Oliver deals with it, how does Diggle do it? I, I think it's going to. I think that's the challenge. I think that's where the writers want to take this. They want to make the stakes higher. Um, how does he get more involved with not only Team Arrow, the Suicide Squad, and Argus, but also have a family, have a child? Some of the things that Oliver wants to do, 
You're going to see that happen with Diggle this season. Some of those balances of his personal life and this crusade, Diggle's going to start doing this season. And um, I, I think Oliver is going to see some of what Diggle goes through and have to make some choices as well. So, um, so it, it's, it's interesting because it's both these men have problems forming relationships, I think. And um, Diggle has kind of gone through some of these things. He's had a crucible. He's had an island in Afghanistan already that he's kind of dealt with. And uh, he's further along with dealing with some of his demons. So I, I, I think... Um, yeah, I think that answered, I, I hope that answered the question. Exactly. Yeah. So the show is not afraid to uh, kill. Right. <laughs> They're not Which afraid is, to kill uh, people. Shocking and refreshing at the yeah. same time. Um, I know you can't really talk about yeah. any spoilers, obviously. But I mean, are we going to go through, you know, like kind of like family being in danger, things like that? Um, well, kind of like the same story. well, you know, I mean, not the same story, obviously, but. Uh, Anytime you have a child and a wife or a potential wife, unfortunately, they're at risk. It's just the way storytelling usually goes. I don't. I, I, I think you'll have some of that. They've already talked about um, dead shots. Dead shot has a girl. Something we might do with that. And um, the Suicide Squad having to form to help John Lawton in that situation. That might happen. Um, that story's on the table. But um, so yeah. Anytime you have. You know, vulnerable people. They, they I, the storytelling kind of puts that at risk, just in a natural way. Um, so yeah, there, there'll be some of that. Yeah, and I'm sorry, you, you just brought up Deadshot. Is yeah. there going to be um, any more development of, between uh, Diggle's relationship with Deadshot? Yeah, there. there you know, especially with yes. Diggle's brother. Yes. Last year, it was revealed to Diggle through Deadshot that Hive, H I V E, was the clandestine organization that hired Diggle, hired uh, Deadshot to kill his brother and his brother was the mark so whatever wonderful ideas that Diggle had of who Andy Diggle was his brother he was not who he thought he was so that will be explored there'll be they talked about a flashback of, of uh, the Diggle Andy story and um, so Diggle will be very fleshed out They're going forward and going backwards we're going to see more of Diggle this season Get yeah, they talked about having um, um, the relationship between Andy Diggle and John Diggle. We're going to explore that in some flashbacks because Andy, the reason why he hated Deadshot was because he thought that Deadshot missed the target, hit his brother. But he didn't. He hit the brother because that was the mark, hired by this group called Hive. So we're going to explore that in some flashbacks. And, um, and moving forward with who Hive really is. Hive is an actual um, comic book, DC comic book organization, if you guys may know that. And um, we're going to explore some of that. Um, so, you know how Oliver's flashbacks, he has this like really... Uh, Crazy wig. Crazy wig. Crazy wig. Am I gonna have an afro? Happy yeah, hair, yeah, yeah, we'll have an afro. Yeah. What's gonna happen? Yeah, Diggle in the army is gonna have a permed fro, pull back, and a rubber band with a bandana. No. Maybe a crew cut. Maybe a John Stewart Green Lantern crew cut. Did I say that? No, but who knows? Yes. 